Oh, thank you. Uh, it's OK? OK, go. <laughs> so uh, I'm Guillaume Nadaleg. So I will present the Rover use case and work from at for Atos. So what is a Rover use case? It's a process use case. So to demonstrate several uh, process tool, uh, it's a small tank. Uh, the, the goal of the use case is to make a small tank with process tool. This tank will uh, explore a room and, uh, and make a map of the room, the room. Be quick, it's not. Uh. The objective of the presentation is to show how several tools can, co can be combined to make a V cycle. So it's a typical V cycle. Uh, if you have uh, any question, so uh, however, I do quick. Okay. Up. To do the presentation, I uh, take one stakeholder requirement. So uh, and uh, this is the guideline of the presentation. This requirement is a rover shall support various payload. Okay. <coughs> now and now I will demonstrate how to use a uh, different tool. So I will uh, import uh, the stakeholder requirement that that is made in a Word document and link their requirements with the validation test right in a document Word, Word document. Okay. So for that, we use Recycle. So what is Recycle? It's a, a tool divided in two parts. The requirement management that, that will uh, thanks to a data model, be able to create and import requirements, import from uh, external data source. Uh, in this part, we have also um, a customization of GUI to, to, to make the, the work easier to have a visualization of the traceability and uh, to have a filtering. I will show you. The second part of the rec cycle is the traceability management. So uh, it is possible to uh, customize the traceability link to uh, open the possibility or restrict between uh, one object, uh, the link between objects. So, to do the demo, and because we have not uh, enough time, <laughs> I, uh, I define the data model of the requirement. Alors, the, the data model of the requirement is uh, the template of the requirement with the, uh, their attribute. Uh, I configure the traceability links type, and I define the predicates for the filtering and the styling. Okay. So I import Excel file and Word file. Now I go to the demo. Tech. So uh, this is Eclipse. Um, here. The Excel file, sorry, is here. So there are uh, ID category description version, comment, and we decide, thanks to a regular expression file, to, to get only, on, only ID category, description, and target <coughs> version. Okay, so we up here, the OCL file is here. It's simple. They get the cell uh, beginning by rover, and they navigate when we find them through the document to get information and uh, 
put them in uh, their attribute. Okay. So when we import in uh, in recycle, the they are displayed, so uh, the display is customizable. So I decide to met to get to put uh, a red icon, the ID, and the text. Okay. For the word document, which was here, so it's the same. We with uh, regular expression file. Here, oh, sorry, <coughs> which is here, we get some attributes and we the test our uh, import in Recycle. You can see they are different display because uh, it's not the same uh, type of uh, requirements. Now. If I want to uh, to do a to make a traceability link, I just have to drag and drop here, yeah. select the traceability. Oop. Okay, and we can see the the display has changed. Okay, I do the same for another. Yeah, okay. Oop. We can see also the traceability viewer that display the tree of uh, traceability. So for that part is OK. So now I will uh, link the stakeholder requirement with the ref refinement of these requirements in Capella. So hop, just one thing. No. Capella, it's a model-based model engineering solution. So uh, they, uh, the the workbench, the ah, the <laughs> I will put on. A on on Eclipse and they become up here. This is Capella. So there are different parts. Uh, was here to help developers or uh, architect to uh, to do the project. So so for us, we decide to only refine requirements so we do that uh, I made some requirements here some refinements so there are a diagram of uh, refinement of the requirements and there are also another diagram to describe how um, refinement interact yeah. So to make the uh, tick, 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 tick. the traceability. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hop. I select. Requirements here yeah. as target. I select the, the stakeholder requirement as source. I validate. Okay. Here. Yeah. Okay. Off. I have a little bug. It's because all run on Mars version and it's not uh, stabilized. Okay. Sorry. Uh, if I reopen, 
Version. Et... Ah, oh, je n'ai pas fait le lien. Ok. Ok, the displays change. And if I select another, for example, there are another display to, uh, to know what is verified, what is covered, and what is both. Ok. Now we will uh, use Papyrus to um, make a detailed design and link them with uh, the Capella refinement. Okay. So. This is uh, Papyrus diagram made with class. So Papyrus made a CML diagram. Up. I forgot to present Papyrus. Sorry. So Papyrus made UML and CML diagram. It's customizable as Capella was, is. And uh, it uh, is uh, extensible. Okay, so. Yeah, so this is a, a new ML diagram. Okay, and we will link. Up. So if we select a capella requirement as source and. Up. Is bit reverse and frame and the target. Select. Okay, we can see the tree. Is complete. Okay. Yeah, we'll make both. Okay. Tag now. OK. And now <laughs> I will uh, link a CDT code, the code we made with CDT, and the detail design. OK. Yep. So it's the same procedure. It's I get my traceability viewer, yep. my source, and I go to my code. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. So one other thing, it's possible with the traceability viewer to um, select the di direction of the tree. Here, yeah. the direction there is the direction is downward, and if I put them upward. I refresh, I will have all the three of requirements. Okay, okay. Okay. So now we can have a picture of our project. So we can use Gendoc. So GenDoc is a generator of document from EMF models uh, that generate Word and OpenOffice documents and compatible with, sorry for the mistake, Capella, Papyrus, Cyrus, IBM, RSA, RSA, XMLS. And they're based on template. Ah. Sorry. So, to the demo, I uh, prepare the template. Okay. So the template is here. It's uh, a Word document because we want to generate Word <coughs> with Axilio code to get 
information from EMF models. So uh, we will generate table. We will generate here the block with the name and all that is generated will keep the, um, the style made in the template. Okay. So to generate, we right click on our template and we select generate documentation using JDoc. Okay. Okay, generate, generated, and we can see. Uh, up. The requirement that is that was were covered and verified. A picture of the detailed design, and the. Traceability links. Okay. Now there are uh, one step of uh, of our project, but if the stakeholders change its specification, we can update our project. So I will made modification. Yeah, maybe. This will be become one version one. Okay. Up. With the predicate that has been made, with our, we filtered by version. Yeah. Okay. So. Is rover safe ten will become in one is here. So to update requirements, we click on that. Okay, we select the uh, source of requirement, and there are an impact analysis. So they said. What has, cha what has changed here? Target version. Okay, and if I click OK, I have an error. Okay, sorry. Uh, and the version has been uh, filtered in one uh, recommend with target version 1.0. Sorry, it's possible. Yeah. Up. Okay. So that was the demonstration. I uh, start from an Excel file, and I finish to a, a C code with traceability link with Capella and Papyrus. I generate the doc with GenDoc. Uh, it's all okay. Some contacts, contacts, okay. and uh, see if I have uh, see I have some information. Sorry, um, the demonstration has been made on Mars version. Uh, the last release was in Luna, so the next release will be on Mars. We'll we'll have some bug fix and uh, more with the bug. Uh, display here, sorry. Uh, and we will uh, preview to have the, uh, the beginning of the collaborative mode of Recycle in uh, this, de this release. Sorry. It's all for my presentation. Don't forget to evaluate. And uh, if you have any questions, Thank you.